Welcome to Excel Exposure. In today's video will be on advanced filtering. So I've already got my data set up in some example data here with product IDs, product names, categories, and some pricing information so that I can do some filtering on this. You'll see that I've also highlighted some of the categories in different colors. You can do that with some conditional formatting or as I've done it, just go in and do that on your own. This is on sheet 11, which says filtering if you're in the Excel master workbook. So basically today I'll just go over the different filtering options that you have and how powerful that can be in really taking some of the data that you have and extracting some useful chunks of information. So these individual product IDs, I have ones for different categories like household, automotive, and outdoor. And so there's a product ID going from 1 to 10 or sometimes 1 to 5 for each of the categories. And so first when you let me get rid of the filter that I currently have. All right, so first thing you need to do is to make sure you have your data set up in a usable format. You want to have uh, your headings all across in columns and then all of your data directly below it. So highlight your entire data range. Go to data at the top of the ribbon and click on filter. And so um, this is also sometimes referred to as the auto filter. So let me just get rid of that and show you one more time. Highlight the whole area you have here and go into data and click filter. So there are a few things that this gives you as additional options. You'll see next to each one there's a little drop down box. So let's say we wanted to filter it on product ID. What I can do is go in and I have a bunch of different options. I can do a sorting. I can also do some filtering or sorting by color and then filtering here. Um, so I'll show you some of the text filters first you'll notice there's a search box so you can type into the search box anything you want and it'll automatically filter that into the options that have that specific thing that you're searching for so if I wanted to do anything with household so that would be HH you'll see that it already limits my options to anything with the HH and I could go in here and, and uncheck any of these selections and you click OK and you'll see that it filtered just to the household categories so I'll go in and clear that but the, the search box is very useful if you need to quickly type in something like let's say it's a, a vendor name or an invoice number you can search it into the box and see what comes up there's also additional text filters so you can see that there's uh, equals does not equal begins with ends with contains so if you want to do the search I was just doing which would actually look up HH in the entire text field you could go to this begins with and this time we'll, we'll do automotive so it begins with AU and then you come down and click OK here. So you see that it's filtered it to the automotive category. Using this text filter, you can also change it to begins with. Let's do two of them. And we'll put in, we'll select or here, which will mean that if either of these two things are true, it'll filter to that. So it gives you some additional functionality that that search box doesn't give you. So if I wanted household and automotive, I would type in as you saw in the text filter. Um, it comes up with a custom filter once you start doing that. Um, it either begins with AU or begins with HH. If I did this AND, it would require both of these to be true. So let's do begins with AU and ends with 003. So that should only come up with AU003. And whenever you have a filter that you want to clear, you just go in here and you can click clear filter from the applicable filter box. You'll see when we get to multiple filters in a few that you can also clear it up here on the data tab next to the filter. Um, in addition to text filters, which you can mess around in here and try some of these different options, you'll see that there are a number of filters, which is when you have some sort of a number involved. You get a bit more in terms of options, mainly related to different number type of analysis that you'd want to do on the filtering. So here we'll put in greater than and that way we'll choose you'll see over here on the prices we have some high priced items so I'll pick anything over a hundred dollars and I'll actually make it greater than or equal to a hundred just in case anything is a hundred and I hit OK. And you'll see it'll filter to any of the retail prices that have 120 you know anything higher than a hundred and since I did or equal to it also includes this tent for a hundred dollars one of the great things about filtering is that you can do multiple filters so while I'm filtered here on uh, retail price I could also filter let's say anything with household and you'll see that then it would show me only the household related items that are over a hundred dollars 
or great or equal to a hundred dollars and then like I was saying earlier when you use multiple filters you can either clear it from each one individually or you can go up top and hit clear and that will clear it all so again you have multiple options and numbers here you can try to apply your own filters and see you know what makes more sense and then lastly there's this uh, filter by color so I've highlighted these in different colors I would recommend using a data field as well so in this case it works fine because all the household is one color all of automotive is one color and all of outdoor activities is one color but you want to make sure if you have your own data table that you really want to use color to not only give information but also have that information in a cell somewhere so that you can filter to that more easily and you can actually do some analysis on it because sometimes the color uh, limits you in what you can actually perform some analysis on so you want to make sure that whatever coloring you have you should have a related text marker just to let you know what that relates to so if you go in here and you go to filter by color you'll see my colors are in here so if I wanted to do just the ones that are black you could uh, use the filter by color and this is helpful if you do a lot of highlighting you can you know go and highlight random ones that you want and then filter just to those and again we come in and hit clear so there's quite a bit of uh, filtering options in Excel I'd recommend taking a little peek in to see what you can do try some of your own example data that you might have from a different source and see what you can come up with hope you enjoyed it thanks